Hi, I'm Michael Gadley. And I'm Kay Perdoni. Welcome back to Arts District from Rocky Mountain PBS. People often yearn for connectedness, and through talented artists, we are inspired to join together. Mexican-American photographer Caleb Alvarado wants to connect people, and he's using his favorite film camera to inspire these interactions. He says that listening, vulnerability, self-awareness, and mindfulness are the key ingredients of his work. Caleb finds his subjects in the Whittier neighborhood of Denver, where this genuine interaction occurs. Producer Sebastian Powell takes us there. Through technology, we are more connected globally than we have ever been, sometimes at the expense of people right next to us. However, it seems artistic expression, music, paintings, sculptures, are appreciated by people across the world and become a means for commonality. One man chose to tell stories of connection and create human interaction. His name is Caleb Alvarado, a first-generation Mexican-American who grew up with Spanish as his only language, shares with us how photography became his interpreter. My dad used to always take photographs of us, and we grew up in a pretty poor family, so we'd get a lot of stuff at garage sales. Most people get rid of film cameras because they don't want them, right? My dad bought me one one day, and he was like, figure it out. I couldn't afford the film, so a lot of times I would just look through the viewfinder as a kid and just like, you know, act like I'm taking photos. But I would like in my head, I'm like, oh, I took that photo, or I took that photo. So I started to learn to see things. After moving to Denver from Phoenix, Arizona, Caleb was immediately drawn to the diverse patrons of Whittier Cafe, a community-driven African espresso bar nestled in a historically diverse part of our city. Of all the places I've been in Denver, it is a true place of social exchange. And when you walk in there, you see all walks of life, right? And I would just go in there, I'd be fascinated with the, just the people that would go in there. So that's when I approached Maletti and I asked her, I was like, hey, would you let me do a portrait series outside of your building? Outside the little patio and by the mural that's there, set up like two lights, brought a camera, and then just people walking down the sidewalk, people inside of the coffee shop. I would say like, hey, I've seen you come here before. I would love to shoot a portrait of you. Caleb is really special because he's doing something that is lacking in our culture right now, I feel like. You know, we have Facebook and all these different forms of social media that make you feel like you know people, but you really know no one. You know, there's a lack of interaction, there's a lack of depth to the relationships. So what Caleb did was, you know, take these portraits of folks where you can't help but look in their eyes and wonder what's his story or what's her story. And it, it sparked people to have conversations about their neighbors or the regulars who see each other all the time and may, maybe don't have conversations. So we need the connection. I think people are yearning for connection. So it was a very deep, deep show. As a society, what we can do to better our interactions is honestly just listen to each other. Like be vulnerable to other people. Be self-aware of other people. Be mindful of the people. You know, photography is, is powerful like that. And especially when you're someone like Caleb who can draw out that story in an image, I don't think that's an easy thing to do. And it's, it's causing us to really dig deep. His favorite camera to use for his portraits is the 1922 Corona Gunlock, a four by five wooden camera. It allows him the ability to slow down his process and truly focus on the story being told through the lens. I like photographs the most when a person kind of forgets everything around them and it's just about them, you know what I mean? So I want to tell your story in that photograph. Caleb's portraits force you to look deep into the eyes of his subjects and listen to the story within the photographs themselves. When I've been open to learning from other people, that has helped me grow for Caleb Alvarado, photography was his medium for cultural connection. But if you ask him, Caleb will tell you it's more than just taking pictures. Photography can be used as a way to communicate and connect with others. So. I personally don't consider myself to be a photographer. I see my camera as just a tool to tell stories. So I consider myself a lot more of a storyteller rather than a photographer. We all have a story to tell, 
And if we're able to listen to each other, learn from one another and love our neighbors, those lines of separation begin to go out of focus. For Arts District, I'm Sebastian Powell. How fantastic was that? A great artist captures the spirit of a person. Caleb achieves this by looking deeply into the eyes of his subject. And you can visit CalebAlvarado.com for more.